Actor Vince Vaughn has been arrested in Southern California after he was stopped at a sobriety checkpoint. The 48-year-old star of Wedding Crashers was busted early this morning on suspicion of drunken driving and resisting arrest. Police say Vaughn has been released from custody. So far, there's no comment from Vaughn's spokesperson. So you right here, the mugshot released from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office overnight. This is the latest legal trouble for singer Chris Brown. And TMZ is reporting that deputies were here just waiting in the wings to take him into custody after his performance. A remarkable fall in full view in that courthouse today. The 81 year old Cosby handcuffed being led away there. His legal team responding a short time later with anger. What they declared Cosby, his booking photo just in tonight, sentenced to three to 10 years behind bars. Okay, whoa. Apparently, a lot of celebrities got into trouble with the law recently, and a ton of them have been arrested and charged with some pretty serious crimes. But just before we take a look at some mug shots, let me introduce myself. I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing, and welcome back to another Most Amazing Top 10 video. I absolutely love what we do here, and I love all of you Most Amazing fans. You guys should become a part of the Most Amazing family here by hitting the subscribe button. We produce videos as much as we can, even when I'm sick. I'm hella sick. 2018 was a really hectic and busy year for the police. They slapped on a lot of handcuffs, and you know what, so here are the celebrities that took a back seat in the back of a police cruiser. So without any more delays, here's the top 10 celebrities who were recently arrested. Alec Baldwin starts off this list in at number 10. Actor Alec Baldwin was arrested and charged with assault after he fought with someone over a parking spot. This happened on November 2nd, 2018. Kind of silly to be arrested for. Well, another driver took a spot away from him. Allegedly, Alec Baldwin went up to the parking spot thief and he just hit him on the left side of his face. Surrounded by photographers, actor Alec Baldwin left the 6th Precinct in Lower Manhattan. Why did you punch someone in the face? He was arrested for misdemeanor assault and harassment for allegedly punching a total stranger in a dispute over a parking spot. He went on Twitter to defend himself by saying, it has become a sport to tag people with as many negative charges and defaming allegations as possible for the purpose of clickbait entertainment. But regardless of what really went down, he was charged with a misdemeanor assault and harassment, and he was actually scheduled to appear in court. It's already passed. It happened on January 23rd of this year. David Henry magically appears on this list at number nine. You guys probably recognize him from his reoccurring role in the Wizards of Waverly Place. Well, as it turns out, this wizard has gotten himself into a lot of trouble in 2018. He was arrested at the Los Angeles International Airport for bringing in a loaded handgun. According to TMZ, he was going through TSA screenings when the security discovered that he was carrying a loaded gun. Is this real life right now? Everyone knows that you aren't supposed to bring a loaded gun to the airport. Okay, no, seriously, how do you forget that you packed a loaded gun into your carry-on? That's not something I would be forgetting. The police were great, they were very kind, very nice people. Nothing but respect for them and they were very nice to me, so I appreciate that. Just out of curiosity, was the gun yours or? It is mine and it's legal and uh, I'll release a whole statement later for everything. Orlando Brown stirs up some more trouble in at number eight. Okay, well, take a look at this mugshot right here. Do you guys recognize him? He played Eddie from That's So Raven, and I, I feel so bad for this guy. He's, he's, he went a little bit crazy. It's, it's too much drugs. I guess Raven didn't have any visions of her friend getting arrested, but on September 2nd, 2018, he was arrested in Las Vegas on one count of burglary, and judging by his mugshot, he seems way too happy about that. But that wasn't his first run-in with the police. Last June, he was arrested for felony drug possession, carrying drug paraphernalia, resisting arrest, and obstructing a police officer. But the fun doesn't stop there. In January 2018, he was arrested after police responded to a family disturbance, and he was taken into custody because he has an outstanding warrant for his arrest. I mean, man, I feel sorry for this guy. Hollywood got rid of him, and now he is known for his long criminal record. And recently, he was on Dr. Phil, and it his life is just, it's just sad. Moving things along, in at number seven, we have Amy Schumer. I know what you guys must be thinking. What the heck did she do? Well, Amy Schumer was too funny and she got arrested. Okay, no. Well, Amy Schumer was at a protest in Capitol Hill that was protesting Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Remember he was the one who was being accused of sexually assaulting women? And this took place in the 80s, but apparently none of that mattered because he was sworn into office regardless of these allegations. 
So all of the protesters gathered around the Senate office building where his hearing was scheduled. Amy Schrumer wasn't the only celebrity that joined in on the protest. And she wasn't the only one arrested. Hi Zola, I'm here with your mom. She loves you very much. I think we're gonna get arrested. And we're so proud of you. Next up, in at number 6, we're talking about Vince Vaughn. I mean, 2018 was a tough year for celebrities, and Vince Vaughn, what is he even doing these days? He's working on Dodgeball, the second movie. Is there even a second movie of that? There needs to be. Well, he was arrested the morning of June 10th, 2018 for a DUI. He was pulled over at a DUI checkpoint around 12.30 in the morning near Manhattan Beach, California. Apparently, he refused to get out of his car, so he was arrested for driving under the influence and for resisting, delaying, and obstructing police officers. Actor Vince Vaughn has been arrested in Southern California after he was stopped at a sobriety checkpoint. The 48-year-old star of Wedding Crashers was busted early this morning on suspicion of drunken driving and resisting arrest. Police say Vaughn has been released from custody. So far, there's no comment from Vaughn's spokesperson. Chris Brown punches into number five. I mean, Chris Brown, haven't you learned your lesson yet? What are you doing? Just join boxing. I guess he's not learning because on July 5th, 2018, he was arrested in Florida for an outstanding warrant for felony battery. I mean, that sounds super intense. Apparently, he punched a photographer in Tampa Bay back in 2017. And now the police are finally booking him. Well, luckily for him, because he was released after he paid a $2,000 bond, and I'm sure this photographer is gonna get a nice settlement from Chris Brown's checkbook. Show you right here the mugshot released from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office over night. This is the latest legal trouble for singer Chris Brown and TMZ is reporting that deputies were here just waiting in the wings to take him into custody after his performance. And now taking us to our number four spot, we have Mac Miller. Mac Miller was driving in the San Fernando Valley in the early hours of the morning when he hit a power pole and completely knocked it down. Mac Miller and his passengers left the scene of the crime on foot, but an eyewitness called the cops and told them the direction of where they were going. Once the cops arrived, they looked up the license plate and went to Mac Miller's address where he completely confessed to driving drunk and fleeing the scene. He was cuffed and taken to jail where his bail was set at $15,000. What up, Mac? Now, you wanna share with us what happened this morning? Uh. Why did you flee the scene? But sadly, as we all know, Mac Miller died from a drug overdose a few months after his arrest. He was battling with his mental issues and heartbreak, so that's why it's important to always talk to someone if you're feeling down or depressed. Because there's always someone out there willing to listen, I promise you. Number three brings us to Young Thug. All right, so on August 16th, 2018, Young Thug rented out an entire Dave and Buster's in Hollywood to celebrate his 27th birthday. Because why not? He has money. And of course, it was to celebrate the release of his new project. But the party was quickly shut down because he was arrested early the next morning. He was booked for possession of a concealed firearm in a vehicle, and his bail was set at $35,000. This is the artist in handcuffs with officers. An LAPD source tells us two members of his entourage were also taken into custody. He says when detectives learned about this party, they put together a last minute operation. The source says there had been an ongoing weapons investigation into both young thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Lamar Williams. But wait, there's more. He was also charged with possession and intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and marijuana. Here's someone you've all been waiting to see on this list, Bill Cosby. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, he's making his appearance at number two. This was one of the most reported arrests of 2018. Bill Cosby was found guilty on April 26, 2018 of three counts of aggravated indecent assault. And finally in September 2018, he was sentenced to three to ten years in state prison and he was given a $25,000 fine plus court fees as well. But after he spent a short time in a correction facility, he was transferred to a state prison where he was confined to a single cell. A remarkable fall in full view in that courthouse today. The 81-year-old Cosby handcuffed being led away there. His legal team responding a short time later with anger. What they declared. Cosby, his booking photo just in tonight, sentenced to three to ten years behind bars. And finally, taking our number one spot, we have Takeshi69. He is facing a minimum of 32 years and a maximum of life in 
prison. I mean, what the heck is going on? This guy was like going places. And this is after he was busted for conspiracy to murder and armed robbery. Busted for racketeering, a charge that implies he's part of an organized criminal enterprise. He could go down harder than a mobster in cement shoes. It is also speculated that he was directly involved in a lot of other crimes committed by nine Trey gangster bloods, such as murder, robbery, and trafficking narcotics. He was denied bail and was waiting his trial in general population at a detention center but he had to be transferred because he kept getting into fights with other prisoners who were involved with the Crips street gang. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what his final sentencing is going to be. Is he gonna have to serve the rest of his life in prison? Well this is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.